Hi, Tom Wesley here. I wanted to ask you a question about your leadership over the last 22 years from Richard Neal. The question really is, where is Richard Neal? I've asked him some questions. I know you have in your past and you haven't gotten any answers. Well, neither have I. Here's some questions I've asked Richard Neal over the past year as we've been campaigning on this trail. My first question to him was, where were you when the U.S. Navy SEALs were put up on trial for courts martial for defending this country, for apprehending a terrible and heinous terrorist. You let that issue die. Fortunately, justice spoke. Where were you when the health care leadership debate was going on? Where did you stand with regard to the Stupak Amendment? You folded on that one and you didn't have the heart or the guts to tell your constituency where you stood on the health care vote until the day before the vote. Where were you when Charlie Rangel got himself in trouble? Uh, he's ethically challenged, as we say. Sorry to interrupt my own video, but look, the Washington, New York Post has just reported that uh, Charles Rangel is going to be put on trial for ethical violations he committed while chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee. Uh, things such as uh, taxes, unreported, undisclosed income. He even stored his vintage Mercedes in the House Congressional Garage. And where was his hand-picked protege during all this, Richard Neal? Richard Neal was out doling out $400,000 of his campaign money to his congressional colleagues, hoping to curry favor uh, in order that he could attain that chairmanship once Wrangell stepped aside. That's not leadership. That's complicity. Complicity with the status quo, and I won't stand for it. Now, back to our regularly scheduled video. All you wanted to do was become the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee. You were silent. You were also silent on Alan Stanford, the Ponzi schemer who gave you $4,000. Last we looked, that money was still in your account and you haven't returned that $4,000 of ill-gotten gains. And where have you been on this Gulf oil disaster? You've been silent. You haven't criticized the government response. This is a failure to ask the tough questions. And I think it's related as much to your unbridled ambition than anything else. That ambition to become the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee. Well, Richard Neal, there's two things you should be aware of. One is, Come January 2011, the leadership in the House will become Republican, and you won't have a chance of becoming the House Ways and Means Chairman. And secondly, you won't be reelected in November. That much I can guarantee you.